Right, that was just a few shots of me making my new travelling camera steady mount on the Myford ML7 and this is a new bit of equipment that I've got for both my lathes now. It's a um, thermostat um, thermometer and it's completely adjustable so you can actually um, set it to come on at a certain temperature and then go off at a certain temperature. And it does have several other settings as well uh, that you can use with it and I'll um, tell you about those in a minute. You can get them in a 12 volt, 24 volt or 220 volt. I've got the 220 volt version here and I've just wired it in to a tail end um, socket adapter so that I can actually plug anything into it. I'm waiting for another one of these to arrive at the moment but um, I didn't find any instructions in English in the box so I went on the Banggood listing and it gives the actual wiring instructions and there's several places online where you can get the instructions for the actual settings for it. So this is the correct way of wiring it up. On this side here is the input and you have the live, the neutral and then the ground and then you have the output line and you have the ground on this side then the neutral and the live on the far right hand side and when you wire it up you want to make sure that the um, copper is right into the terminal there and not overhanging the uh, white plastic part here that way when the um, cover goes on there won't be any overhanging uh, wires on the outside where you could actually get a shock, it's all internal. And it does look nice and neat when the cover's back on and you can see there that it's nice and safe. Incidentally the um, unit is called an XH-W3103 and like I say you can get them in the different voltages. Um, when you actually get them through just check because it has 12 volt, 24 volt and 220 volt on the back there and the one you get should be marked, um, mine's just marked there with some marker pen. Just check that you have the right one before you start wiring it up. And I'm going to mount these uh, very near my Chinese mini lathe and my Myford ML7 and use these uh, small USB fans. Um, these don't use much electricity at all. That's why I put the tail end on rather than wiring a fan um, straight into this one so I can use these ones or you could plug a bigger fan in um, if necessary. And then in the summer um, if we get any hot weather um, I can actually use these fans, uh, put them right up behind the three-phase motors when they're getting to a certain temperature which I consider a bit hot I'll have the fan switch on and then as the motor cools down again it'll switch off automatically and the unit has a temperature sensor um, like on the old type of uh, thermometers that I um, used in the past the ones without the thermostat and I found there's a small hole on the top of my um, three-phase motors where there's uh, meant to be um, the actual mount for the actual motor to go on. I've got it on a different mount setting so there's a small hole on the top and this one does actually fit perfectly in that hole and it only goes down to a certain depth and it measures the temperature perfectly. If you don't have a hole to actually uh, put the probe in you can actually put it in between uh, the fins on the motor and stick it in there with some blue tack or something so that the actual sensor is making contact with the metal and the blue tack is just holding it on there. And you can see there that it's got a nice long sensor cable on it already wired in. So this is the main mode here and this is the temperature um, at which the um, unit will switch on. I've set that with these up and down arrows, it's all dead easy. And then this is the temperature which will go off, I've set it at 20 for now just for an example. And you'll see when I hold the actual um, sensor there the temperature will start going up as soon as it gets to um, 25 the red light will display, the green light will go off and the fan will start up.
and it's a lovely positive unit, a uh, really good um, switch in it. And then obviously when that cools down, it'll switch off. So like I say, you set um, the right hand setting here, which is the off with these um, two up and down arrows, and then this side obviously with the other arrows. Then you have various different settings which you can go through. Um, that one there, the F1, is an intermittent um, setting, so you can have it to um, switch off for a short, short period of time and then start up the um, default settings there uh, um, switch on for two minutes and switch off for ten minutes and obviously you can change those times then you press the middle set button again and go to F2 and that's a timed mode the default setting is 30 minutes so it'll actually count down from 30 minutes and then switch off and obviously again you can actually change that 30 minutes um, to whatever you want on that side and then you press the middle button again the set button and get the f3 mode and that's a uh, time um, before it boots up or before it starts up and it's 30 minutes um, on the default um, setting it's minutes this side and hours this side in that mode and then press the set button again and it'll go back to the um, main temperature um, setting the one that I would actually use um, in the workshop so it's a really versatile little unit and it looks really brilliant in color and it's a nice size display so it's going to look really good above the machine or um, next to the machine and uh, as you can see there it's dead easy to set up and just to show how nice this um, display is I'll turn the um, main floodlights off so you can see the different colors there and then go through those settings F1, F2, F3 and then back to the standard um, temperature setting mode and I forgot to say that it's made of a nice tough quality um, plastic which um, electrical devices like this should be made of and it's actually really low cost it's £10 or under I think it is at the moment and I'll put a link below uh, for the Banggood listing where you can actually get this one and it also has uh, the wiring diagrams for actually wiring it up like I've shown and if you wire it up like I've shown here with this tail end um, socket adapter you can actually plug whatever you like into it you could even have it plugged into an ice cream dispenser in the hot weather